guys for school. This is me. Tell me about Lena Mobius. Meetings half the people there are informants. That could be that Times guy? Which Times guy? There's more than one? <laughs> be careful. Half the right wing money in New York is here tonight. They've come to see you. You impress them. If you do what I know you can, this moment will be up and running by tomorrow. And we will be on the front page of the New York Times. Shema Israel, Adonai Aluhenu, Adonai Echad. Does anyone know what that is? A Jewish prayer. A Jewish prayer. Do you have any idea why I would say a Jewish prayer? Because you're a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> that could be one reason. What's another? Let me put it this way. Who wants to destroy the Jews? Who wants to grind their bones into the dust? And who wants to see them rise again? Wealthier, more successful, powerful, cultured, more intelligent than ever. And you know what we have to do? We have to love them. What? Did he say <laughs> love the Jews? It's strange, I know. But with these people, nothing is simple. Now, the Jew says all he wants is to be left alone to study his Torah, do a little business, fornicate with his oversexed wife, but it's not true. <laughs> he wants to be hated. He longs for our scorn. He clings to it as if it were the very core of his being. If Hitler had not existed, the Jews would have invented him. But without such hatred, the so-called chosen people would vanish from the earth. And this reveals a terrible truth, and really the crux of our problem is Nazis. The worse the Jews are treated, the stronger they become. Egyptian slavery made them a nation. The pogroms hardened them. Auschwitz gave birth to the state of Israel. Suffering, it seems, is the very crucible of their genius. So, if the Jews are, as one of their owners said, a people who will not take yes for an answer, let us say yes to them. If they thrive on opposition, let us cease to oppose them. The only way to annihilate this insidious people once and for all is to open our arms, invite them into our homes, and embrace them. Only then will they vanish into assimilation, normality, and love. But we cannot pretend. The Jew is nothing if not clever. He will see through hypocrisy and condescension to destroy him, we must love him sincerely. <laughs> yes. If the Jews are strengthened by hate, then wouldn't this destruction that you speak of, whether it's by love or, or any other means, wouldn't that make them more powerful than they are already? Yes, infinitely more. They would become as God. It's the Jews' destiny to be annihilated so they can be deified. Jesus understood this perfectly. And look what was accomplished there with the death of just one enlightened Jew. Imagine what would happen if we killed them all. So let us say together, Shema Israel. Are you out of your mind?